Hulu Live must have some sort of secret sauce because while everyone else is kind of losing steam, they're losing subscribers, they're slowing down, Hulu Live is picking up like crazy. They picked up a ton of subscribers last year and we're gonna find out why. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified when we have videos every Wednesday and Friday. And today, make sure you check out the last video we did. That's how to watch all the Marvel movies for cheap. The reason I want you to do that is because first of all, it's an awesome video. And second of all, we're giving away a TCL Roku TV and I don't want you to miss out on that. So go check out that video above. All right, let's dive in. Hulu with Live TV is simply a live TV streaming service, much like Sling TV, YouTube TV, Direct TV Now, those kinds of things. So you can watch Live TV with your internet connection. Now that's great, but why is it then that, say, Sling TV has slowed down in its growth quite a bit? They only gained 50,000 subscribers at the end of last year. Direct TV at the same time lost a quarter million subscribers. So why is it that Hulu with Live TV is gaining at the same time a half million subscribers. Personally, I think the explanation is pretty simple and we're going to get into that, but we're also going to do a deep dive on the cost of it, all the channels that you get, that sort of thing. So we are going to look at the whole picture and why it is that Hulu TV is making such big gains. Let's get started. There's a lot to applaud when it comes to Hulu Live. And uh, by the way, I am just gonna call it Hulu Live. I know technically it's Hulu with Live TV and that is the better name for it, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But for now, it's Hulu Live. Anyway, there's a lot of nice stuff about it. For instance, you can watch it on just about any device you can imagine. I even watch it on my sweet Nintendo Switch. I mean, you can watch it on pretty much anything. So it's great that way. But I'm gonna run through a few of the reasons why I think Hulu with Live TV, Hulu Live, has their kind of recipe dialed in, why it's so attractive to so many people. However, it's not all sunshine and roses, unfortunately. There are other things to be aware of. It's not just the pros. I would put some of these things I'm going to talk about on the con side. However, a lot of them aren't as big a deal to a lot of people. They're just things that you want to be aware of. You don't want to be taken by surprise. For instance, yes, I can watch it on a lot of different devices like my Nintendo Switch, but if I want to watch it simultaneously on a lot of different devices, I can only do two devices at once. If I want to do up to five, like if I have a whole family who's wanting to watch Hulu Live, then I'm going to need to pay an extra 15 bucks a month. And we'll come back to that. The first thing that we'll look at is channel count. You get a lot of bang for your buck here. 67 nationwide channels for your $45 package. That is quite a bit of value as far as channel per dollar. You also get local channels. Now, I can't factor those in because that's gonna depend a lot on your geography and what your market allows uh, as far as what's available on Hulu TV. So, a lot of channels, that's a great thing. However, 67 channels is good as far as a cost per channel, but you are missing some key ones. You don't get any Viacom channels, so MTV, BET, Nickelodeon, those are out. Uh, and there's another big one, which really they ought to add. AMC, which, I'm sorry, AMC should stand for A Magic Channel. It takes us to a place where we ache to go again. Now next up is live sports. Hulu has been doing a big push recently marketing their live sports capabilities. They have built a really great interface that allows you to follow individual teams, different sports, and it kind of lets you keep track of everything that you want to keep track of, whether it's college football or NBA or whatever the case may be. It's a great interface that allows you to do that. However, the interface may be great and uh, they do have live sports, but just be aware that you're not getting any more live sports than you would anywhere else. They're just talking about ESPN, ESPN2, Fox Sports, all that kind of thing. So yes, they do have live sports, but you're not getting more than you would otherwise. It's just that interface. Next up is content curation. This is another big one. Now, if you're not familiar with exactly what this means, this is all those things, you see those categories, it's like recommended for you. Basically, Hulu does a really great job at recommending new TV shows and movies for you. Uh, so they've built that into Hulu Live as well. It's fantastic. However, content curation may be great until such time as it pushes the content that you actually want to watch down out of your queue. So if you're working through season three of your favorite one hour drama and you've been doing that for a few weeks, suddenly Hulu comes in and kind of buries it under some other recommendations. So the recommendations may or may not be good, but frankly, I don't want them shoving my content out of the way to make those recommendations. 
50 hours of DVR included. Now, this is something that's uh, becoming more widespread across the industry, included DVR. So maybe it doesn't sound that special, but at least it's there. They're, they're not lagging behind anybody. 50 hours of DVR included is a good value. However, free DVR is great, but 50 hours is just not that much. We harp on this with Sling TV all the time. 50 hours will fill up really quickly. So you can pay extra 15 bucks a month and you'll get 200 hours of DVR content. But wait, there's more. With that $15, you also get the ability to pause and fast forward your DVR content. But wait, you say, you have to pay to do that? Yes, you do. The free version of the DVR does not let you fast forward through your commercials. Ultimately, what it comes down to, I think, is this secret sauce, and that is the value added by Hulu itself. I mentioned earlier that it's not actually called Hulu Live, it's called Hulu with Live TV. And this is a great name because it describes exactly what you're getting. It's not just Live TV like you would get with Sling TV, Direct TV Now, PlayStation View, all of those have that, but Hulu with Live TV has Hulu built in. So you get the on-demand side of things and the Live TV side of things. It's a great value. However, it's important to know that you're getting the limited commercials option for the Hulu on-demand content. There is a no commercials option, but it's gonna be an additional four bucks a month to get that. Now, that's not that much, but let's say you want the decent DVR, and let's say you want the unlimited streams for your family to watch as well. Suddenly you're adding 15 each for those, you're looking at almost $80 for your Hulu package. Now, if you cut the cord to save some money, you can see how this might be a bit of a problem. So ultimately, while yes, there are some downsides to Hulu with live TV, it's just a whole lot of value packed into that $45. So I can see why there are so many people fleeing the other services and moving to this one. But let me know if you're one of them. Hit the comments below. If you already use Hulu Live, tell me what you like or dislike about it. If you're thinking about it, uh, if you're thinking about switching over, then let me know why and whether this video helped you make your decision at all. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be back on Friday with a live stream explaining more about that TCL Roku TV giveaway that I mentioned earlier in the video. And you can check that out in the meantime with our latest video, the Marvel one. Uh, and of course, if you wanna know more about streaming services, we've covered a bunch of those, so you can check out that playlist as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.